Right, okay, thank you for joining The Average Golfer for uh, episode three of The Average Podcast. If you watch Golf YouTube, then uh, the man on my right needs no introduction, so (laughs) welcome, Rick Shields. Thank you very much, thanks for having me. What a a setup. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? It's nice and cosy, the fire's on, it's all all nice for you. Got a coffee. I'm very impressed. Good start. It's good, and obviously you've done your podcast kind of remotely because you've had Alex from Australia yeah. and Andy from USA yeah. it's nice to be able to come it's, down this here this is the first person I've been able to see a reaction from it's nice yeah. know, that could some be good or bad I don't know some of the other ones when someone else has pulled a funny face it's, you've very like, it's a delayed <laughs> response it's so, it's so difficult to do so it's nice that, and I think before before I start and get stuck into the questions I want to say this Rick's just travelled uh, is about an hour and a bit yeah about an hour and a half pouring down rain miserable day I asked him to do this I'm not sure that I thought that he would, to be fair, but he said yes, and he's come down all of his own making, and I greatly appreciate it. So I just want to point that out before we go any further. But now it's on to the questions. I've got to point out, I interviewed Randy a couple of weeks ago from Friday, because I know you're big friends with. Yeah, big fan of. He's actually in rehab at the moment after okay. the uh, the effect that it had on him. No, I saw that. And uh, you, he, you really touched on some emotional yeah. cords there. So be prepared. Yeah, be prepared. <laughs> I'm expecting. I'm expecting this couch. I'm going to turn. Yeah, yeah. Like, just lie, lie couch, down a bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Randy, if you are wondering, it was Scuba Steve who asked me to uh, fire that question at Rick. Uh, right, but over to you. Um, I've got, and I'm glancing down at notes. 9th of May, 2012. Um, was your first video, but that was a bit of a video of your swing from above. I don't know if you can recall that. I can. But I want to start with, first video was 23rd of July. If you can just hit that port play button. Oh, this is this is an old and, and I want this for, have you got it? Am I allowed to give some context to this first or not? Yes, you can do, but we have, I haven't got, oh, you, 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 I haven't pressed play, play there. Yet. Yeah, so this is, this is seven years ago. Uh, what shot have I got? So this is Grip It Right with Rick Shields. Yes. So, I, I, I've not watched this for a long time, so my reaction on this is going to be very cringeworthy because it's it's one of my very, very first yeah. videos. There, there, there actually was probably four or five videos before this, and even before that very first one on the 9th of May, mm. which no longer exist. Right. Because they have been deleted. You've got them. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. So this is this is one of the ones that I was, at the time, happy with. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. it'll be interesting to see what it looks like now. Wow. Today I'm going to show you how to grip the golf club correctly every time. <laughs> Very common mistake I see with a lot of golfers that hold the golf club incorrectly. They actually hit the golf ball everywhere, but I'm a fairly decent I think we've seen enough of that one. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so, what, are your, what are your thoughts when you see it? Because, I mean, obviously... Uh, we're going to move on very shortly to where we're at now, but what, what do you think when you look back at that? Can, um, let me just give a little bit of context and backstory. So... I was a golf professional at Trafford Golf Centre at the time of this being filmed, and this what wasn't at Trafford Golf Centre. This was at High League Golf Club. Yeah, yeah. Ever been. And um, I realised I wanted to start making content on YouTube. Mm-hmm. For me, a way of being able to promote myself as a golf coach at Trafford. Yeah. You know, there's four or five golf coaches at Trafford, and I wanted to promote myself. Yeah, yeah. So I thought, well, an easy way, not an easy way, but a way of doing it is to look online, look on YouTube. Yeah. There's hardly anybody doing it. Let's try and create some really um, fresh instruction videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hence, hence right. this. Now, I knew no idea how to film. I didn't know how to record my audio. I knew, I knew so nothing. you're on your own here, are you on that? No, I'm not. Right. That, that's where, unfortunately, this, this whole kind of video ended up coming to light. So I didn't know how to do it at all. I had no equipment, no knowledge. So I hired someone. Right. So I hired a guy, and he said, not a problem, I can do... X amount of videos and it's going to cost you this much. And it was okay. a lot of money at the time. Yeah, I was yeah. thinking, whoa, but it's, uh, you know, an yeah, expense, yeah, yeah. an investment. So I paid the money and in my head I thought, well, if I get about 30 videos filmed in a day. Mm. Wow. Yeah. I know. Good going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In a day, well, it's worth the investment. Yeah. Right. So I hired him. I had to hire all the equipment because right. he didn't have anything. I don't know who the hell I used at the time. And we went to Highly, crack of dawn, first thing in the morning. And we started filming, and the very first video I did was a bump and run video, which is also on my channel, and I nailed it. Yeah. The delivery I thought was brilliant, I nailed it in my yes, first time. I've watched that one as well. So he's on the he's behind the camera and he goes, ah, Rick, um, there was a lawnmower um, like two fairways down. Right. Can we do it again? I'm like, oh, I thought it was pretty good, but yeah, okay, yeah. I'll do it again. Did it again. Ah, 
you know, there was a plane just going across at the same time. The audio just didn't sound good. Can we do it again? So that repeated maybe 10 times. Right. And suddenly, as you start doing it, you start getting it wrong. Yes. It's I hard. nailed it, it first time. Yeah, yeah, it gets harder. I nailed it. Yeah, yeah, that's always the way. Yeah. And every time, it just got harder and harder. Yeah. Um, to the point where it became super wooden. That happened on yeah, every tip. Yeah. That happened yeah. on every tip. So at the end of this day, that I filmed, the most beautiful day in the middle of summer, when I, well, I was thinking I was going to get 30 yeah. videos done, I got six done. Right. Well, that's still good going to be well, At the time, I wasn't that impressed because I yeah. paid a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. There were only two minute videos, Andy. Right, <laughs> right. And um, I think his way of saving him money is his deal was he had to film them and edit them. Right. So he was probably think, smarter than me at the time yeah, yeah. and realised, well, if we yeah. film six videos, yeah. it's not going to take me so a long time. So the retakes was a bit of the plan, maybe, yeah. So unfortunately, then when I got to this video, which was probably one of the latter ones in the day, it was like, Right, I'm just going to get this right. Yeah. Hi, yeah. I'm Rick Shields. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Well, it's, it, it's so hard to do, though, isn't it? At in the, the time. In, 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 well, yeah, at the time, because that's what I was going to say is that, so we're seven years on, you're doing stuff at the, the Open, yeah. British Masters. I mean, you know, I can reel off all kinds <laughs> of big, grand gigs that you do now. Um, you're more relaxed now, obviously, than you were in that video there. Just, so, just yeah, you've bit. got seven years' experience, but you're on this massive stage and platform now. Yeah. So. So how does that feel? Or how have you achieved that? Why the difference? It, it, it's a bit like, you know, as a kid, you never realise you're growing until someone says to you, wow, haven't you grown tall? Yeah. You don't realise. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. have no idea. Yeah. It's the same with this. I so never, back, yeah. Yeah, I never realised. But what you've got to understand is I've got now, don't quote me on the number, but maybe 1,600 videos on my channel. Mm. So over the time period, yeah. I've, you know. Massive progression. Yeah, and, and a lot of the time when I filmed, starting off at Trafford, you know, there was nobody behind the camera, and I, and I just talked to the camera as if I was talking to one of my students. Yeah. It was relaxed, yeah. as if I had a mate behind the camera. And the more I did that, the more I became comfortable with just recording to a mate behind the camera, it made me more relaxed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and over time, you know, you see it with anybody's content, they just become yeah, more developed. relaxed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you see it with, yeah. with even guys on TV that the very first time yeah, they've, they're on live and kicking yeah. compared to when they're presenting you know the yeah, British yeah, Soap Awards yeah. is completely separate yeah. don't know why I use those two examples but um, but yeah. it's, it's good though to see how you can take like I said from from highly seven years ago it must be nice for you to look back though and say right that was me seven years ago this is what I've developed to now you did the driver versus driver thing on the golf channel yeah uh, I mean it's, it's, a, it's a huge that move crazy. isn't it it's a great change that's crazy you know? and again you, you go into that which Did is you're nervous for that yeah yeah because it's, you know, when you're filming at YouTube, it's you and a camera. Yeah, yeah. And maybe got, a camera operator, yeah, you know, a control. couple of mates. Yeah. yeah, you've got control. You know what's happening. You've got the control of the edit. You've got yeah. control of everything. You throw yourself into the world of TV, and suddenly you've got 100 people behind the camera. Right, right. And, and six or seven, 100,000 pound cameras, mm. and producers and executives, and you've got an earpiece and a yeah, microphone yeah. and makeup and meant like professional presenters. Yeah. And I had, a, I had Jeremy Roenick, who's a professional ice hockey player who does a lot of stuff on um, um, USA commentating. Right. You've got um, Tim Clark, the president of Wilson Golf. You've yeah. got Melanie Collins, who's a, who's a professional yeah, presenter. Yeah, presenter again, yeah. Suddenly thinking, Hold yeah, yeah. on, what, what, how did, how did, how did yeah, seven that? years ago yeah, yeah. turn into me sat here now yeah, it's on it's TV? Yeah, it's um, but you embrace it, yeah. you know, you embrace it, and you, you know, I learned from it. And you know, the very first, you know, um, recording session was totally different to the final recording session. Right. You know, we did seven seven shows for the series over a, a, a time frame of twelve months. And I, I watched the first episode and thought, oh my God, I'm so much better than that now. Right, yeah. Because now you watch impression. the finale, yeah. as a semi-final, as I have yeah, to yeah. call it, our yeah, yeah, finale. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. And I was totally different. Yeah. So, it, was, it, got, it was well received, wasn't it? I mean, it you was. got great feedback. And... It was. It was, it was a, a great experience. Being asked to be a judge, because I was yeah. asked by Golf Channel. So yeah, Golf yeah. Channel asked me to, you know, will you be a judge on this TV programme? Yeah. I was like, God, yeah, of course I will. Yeah, yeah. They then said, have you ever heard of Driver versus Driver? I was like, well, actually, I saw glimpses of the first series because I tested the Triton Driver. Yeah, yeah. But that's about it. That's all I know about it because we didn't receive it in the UK. Yes. Um, 
so when it, it was driver versus driver two, I was like, God, yeah, I'd love to be involved. Mm. That's going to be awesome. And it was. It was a wonderful experience. I got to see what the world of TV was like. Yeah. But also got to see the world of what it took to design a driver. Yeah. yeah. Which is something I didn't, I neglect. I, you know, I test products as yeah. you, you, well, we you do as well. Yeah, yeah. I don't massively, no. I don't massively need to know the stage by stage development. Now I know, I feel better equipped, to, yeah. equipped to, to review products yeah. down the line as well. So, so you enjoyed doing it, loved it. With the driver versus driver, can, we drink, can I drink coffee on? Yeah, the I'm show? sure we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's a, it's is, a yeah. non-branded cup. So yeah, it's yeah, fine. we're all right. With the um, driver versus driver and the TV thing, and you did, I think it was more of the media stuff, wasn't it? Social media stuff for the Open and yeah. bits and bobs. What about a career in sort of mainstream golf TV? Is that is that a way that um, in the future? Or? I, I'd never want to rule opportunities out. If you'd have asked me two years ago, God, if you'd have asked that guy seven years yeah, ago, yeah, yeah. would I honestly be sat here on a sofa at Two Up Low Towers yeah, yeah. doing a yeah. podcast with you, I'd have gone no chance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but even you know the things on TV, presenting the Open was an amazing opportunity. Um, other, you know, the emails that I receive on a daily basis of some of the opportunities, you, you end up sitting back and going, "Wow, wow yeah. this is cool." You know, not all of them can happen. Yeah. Um, if I said yes to everything, I'd, I'd never be at home, and I've got family, I've yeah, got yeah, kids, so you know, I've got to, I've got to balance, balance that out, yeah. of course. So no, but I love, I love taking opportunities on. You know, I do get nervous and you know excited, but I it's think that's normal. Yeah, yeah, that's normal. Good, if you yeah. didn't get excited or nervous, what are you doing it yeah. for? There's no passion yeah. there, is there? Yeah, no, I think it's all. But I'm, I'm nervous this morning doing this interview. You know, it's uh, it's, a, it's 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 all about levels, but at the same time, whatever sort of stage you're at, you know, it's the same yeah. thing, isn't it? But it's exactly. it, that's the bit that is worth getting up for, and uh, exactly. I, I like putting myself in that position, which Massively. I'm sure obviously you do as well. You know, going back to your question about mainstream media, I think the balance is now is that is online media stronger? Yeah, well, I think that was again something that you know, where is the career really mm. the future of your career maybe is like you said still that YouTube is the is the bigger yeah. I, I see my, maybe or potentially yeah I see myself as a presenter of golf content yeah and whether that's presenting instruction videos yeah. presenting reviews equipment tests presenting things for the open or golf yeah. channel or, that's how I see myself as a, a presenting you know entertaining videos yeah I think as long as if I categorize myself as that where I present my content doesn't massively not, matter not what platform. you know I love my YouTube because I'm in control of it yeah but if I've got some TV opportunities that's exciting too yeah. it makes my mum proud yeah, yeah. Think of that. yeah, yeah, <laughs> sure is, yeah. and you, you've worked and again more recently in the last couple of years you've worked with some great people in terms of collaborations um, what's been the any highlights so far and maybe not the collaborations but in general the channel your highlights so oh far. wow it's just you know, it's, changed, well, it's changed my life yeah. you know without getting too kind of don't go down the route of Randy and get me all emotional <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Not no, yet. I, it has changed my life it's given me a wonderful opportunity to grow a business that I never yeah. I never realised was going to be there yeah um, it Opportunities that I've loved throughout the time period is the things that we've already mentioned, the Open, the Golf Channel, but also collaborating with some pals of mine and making their channels help and develop and grow. Yeah, yeah. Friends like Peter Finch, Matt Fryer, Andy Carter, mm. Fried Eggs, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, Liam uh, yeah, from yeah. Golf Logs UK, being able to help and develop those channels, give some advice there as yeah, well has yeah. been really good. Um, but then collaborating with, you know, I've been lucky enough to collaborate with um, two of the guys from Dude Perfect a couple yeah, yeah, of years ago. That, yeah. um, and they're like the fifth biggest YouTube channel in the world. Yeah, you know, the biggest yeah. sports channel in the world, 40 yeah. million subscribers. Yeah. And then I sit with them and you talk about nervous. Oh mm. my, I was like, because these are guys that yeah, yeah. I grew Huge up again, yeah. on YouTube watching these guys. Right. And to be able to go out and play golf and then to be able to make a video with them yeah, was like, yeah. wow. Yeah. The amount of times I checked my cameras. Is everything yeah, yeah, wrong? Yeah. With? Are all my batteries charged? Yeah. Is the audio good? I've I'm, just had a couple of glances this morning to make sure it records. It's so no. nervous. Yeah, yeah. You know, the amount of times that I've got to, uh, even after I recorded that video with the guys, I almost didn't promote it until the video was done. Right. Let you me get the video. Sure, yeah. Let me make sure that everything was in focus. Yeah, yeah. That the sound was good. Yeah. That everything was right and yeah. the edit was good before mm. I then go. Yeah. Relax. Yeah. It actually happened. Yeah, yeah. Like because yeah. otherwise, yeah. if it didn't happen, if it you know. Yeah, yeah. 
I yeah, think people forget to. that as well, how, how nervous it can be just making sure you get that footage from that SD card, whatever it is you're using, Correct. at the end of that, uh, whatever editing oh, software I've you're using. Oh, awful done. mishaps. Yeah, yeah I yeah, it's, <laughs> a, it's a, how heart rent oh, is it? It's terrible. I've, and some are, I mean, I'm not, it's not about me, but some of the best oh, footage God. you've ever gotten, you know, when you, yeah, I lost an SD card out of a drone from oh. uh, um, Nevin Golf Club on the yeah. finest oh, day. Oh, on the down. peninsula. Yeah, but it was, but it was the weather. It's always blowing. Yeah, yeah. That down yeah. there. It was a gorgeous day. Yeah. You're watching only on your screen at the time, but I thought this is just spectacular Magic. footage. And uh, we drove back, and I'd lost there. Obviously, a uh, micro micro SD. I still, obviously, have never found that car to this day, and never got that footage. It kills you. But anyway, like I said, if you ever needed some, yeah, <laughs> you've I've got, honestly, have you really? Yeah. Nevin Peninsula. Yeah, yeah. Well, the challenge we had one time, I was flying a drone there, and it was windy, like you said, and I flew it right out because I wanted this gorgeous shot of the peninsula. Yeah, coming back in. Yeah. And it was a beautiful evening. And the wind was up, and the wind was uh, blowing up. Which way was it going? Anyway, flying it back inland, yeah, yeah. it was struggling. Yeah. I was like, oh, my God, yeah, this yeah. drone isn't Come coming back. back. Yeah. It's yeah. just, like, stalling. Yeah. So I took it right down to almost the sea level. Yeah, protected and, then, and then came up, and then I was like, Phew. I got yeah. it in my hand, I was like, Thank yeah. God, because yeah, that footage no. goes. If you need any, I've got yeah, some. Got I've never it, actually right. used. Wow. Yeah. I don't want to no, remember one of those. Yeah, yeah. yeah you can have it. I'll drop box it yeah. later. Yeah. With so, uh, I just want to go into product testing for a little bit. A uh, big part of the channel. Um, now approaching half a million subs. Mm. Do you feel a sense of responsibility with the reviews? Because obviously, people are uh, take a lot of guidance from your opinion. Yeah. Younger viewers as well. I think a lot of people, you know, they, they carries a lot of weight. Your opinion. So, how do you think? How do you go about the reviews, and and do you bear that in mind when you're reviewing? Um, what I bear in mind is I want to test the product fairly. I will take the information on from the manufacturer. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, probably like yourself, I, I the manufacturers will come and visit me and you know give me a presentation. That's all well and good, and I'll take that information on and go right. Let me dive through what they're actually saying. Yeah, yeah. Let me let me understand what they're actually trying to, you know, market. Yeah. And my responsibility, as long as I've delivered this, I want to always deliver an honest, fair test and review. Yeah. You know, that I feel like I've ticked every box. Yeah. I always want to give beautiful close ups. Yeah. That's something I'm super passionate about because yeah, yeah. again, a lot of golfers don't get a chance to see the products. Yeah, the flash, yeah. You know, yeah. so I want to give the best possible close ups I can give. And I want to test it fairly as I can possibly test a product, which I'll, you know, I've developed my testing yeah, process yeah. to that, make yeah. sure that happens. Yeah. I want to test it against last year's models. I want to test it against the other model that comes out that same year. So if it's M5, M6, put them up against each other. But also test them against M3, M4. Yeah. Take them out in the golf course. So now I feel like I've then got a very rounded opinion yeah. on that product because I've done everything that I can I'll then deliver the review yeah, yeah. and uh, as long as, as long as I can do that yeah that's out, yeah. after that it's out of my control like, yeah. I'll tell you the price I'll tell you what I thought I'll tell you the, my sound the sound that I liked or didn't like yeah. whether I liked the looks or didn't like that's subjective as you know yeah, yeah. these are my numbers compared to where I normally hit them to mm. After it's that, this as far as you can go. After that, you can't take yeah, it further, yeah. And, and I'll review a product and hand on heart when I've put it together and edited it. I'll go, yeah, yeah. that's as good a job as I could have done. Um, and then ne the next time I review it, you know, continue to evolve it and, and yeah. you know get it to I a think, point where I'm happy. I mean, again, watching from afar, your reviews is a bit that has come on quite a lot in the last maybe two three years. And the, to be fair, that they're, they're, they're pretty much the. They're the barometer, aren't they, in terms of... Do you feel like that? Do you feel you're setting a bar with it in terms of... They certainly get well viewed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I you, think... You, uh, well, then maybe the question... Are you happy with the way it's gone in, in terms of... They, they've developed a lot, haven't they? You know fair? what's really interesting, Andy? And it's it's something that you know, I've realised over the time of reviewing products um, is I was the first reviewer online to be hitting golf shots with a live launch monitor giving numbers. Right. So I'd hit a golf shot, flight scope at the time when I was at Trafford, and I was telling you how far the driver went, there and then, done. Yeah. And I would give, and, and this was when numbers were still quite new, yeah, and yeah. nobody was really, well nobody was doing it, I was pumping out the numbers. And then it, this massive tidal wave of almost over um, analysis of numbers came mm -hmm. in, 
and I'm still seeing people get a bit guilty of it now. It, yeah. yeah, just the real in depth of, yeah, yeah. of every shot and every number, and you think, yeah. you know what? So this last six months, even probably twelve months, stripping a lot of that back, yeah, yeah. and actually just telling people what they need to know. Yeah. They don't need to know every single yeah, shot yeah. and every single yeah, spin rate yeah. and launch angle and yeah. all this jazz. I'm going to tell you the, the, the important numbers, yeah. and that's where you need to yeah. be. Um, and, and what I've always done in the past as well, and maybe this is where I've become a lot more um, comfortable with the content, is let's say I got a driver, I would review, or let's say there was two drivers, M5, M6, I would review M5 on its own, I'd have done a head-to-head on its own, I'd have done this, 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 produced 10 videos with this driver. Yeah. I'd done the same with this driver. Yeah. I'd have then gone back to compare it to last year's models. Yeah. Yeah? Where now I just want one phenomenal video yeah that actually does everything yeah you're gonna watch one 10 minute video and we get all that in. and you're gonna get everything yeah. you're gonna get m5 m6 m3 m4 this 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 is wrapped up into one really well polished produced video yeah. that you can watch and i'm proud of and it tells you everything yeah and that's, that's kind that's, of and that's reflected in the views though hasn't it really because your views are you know up massively from yeah. what i can see yeah uh, less videos maybe and like you said but greater views considerably yeah just you know, a couple of years ago, I was releasing 300 videos a year. Yeah. Probably even, probably more. I was really trying to release Almost at least a one a day. Yeah, yeah. At least one a day, and sometimes even two a day. God, back in the day, don't know when I slept. Wow. Yeah. This was when... That's tough going, though, isn't it? Well, this, this was where I did everything myself. Right. You know, um, filmed everything, edited everything, you know, really grinded. Yeah. And it was fine. Oh, it was good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But yeah. you did it, because yeah. it... Because I was seeing it develop well, as well, yeah. and I was motivated and, and excited to do it, and mm. I was passionate about it. The um, the challenge where it got to then is that obviously having children, yeah. I've got three children, three young children, three children. You know, I've got a four year old, a two year old, and a six month old. Yeah, a lot of work in itself. Obviously, a wife. Yeah, yeah. A teaching career, a YouTube career. And it was like, whoa. Yeah. There's going to be a point here where. Got to give, yeah. But also, so there's that side of it, which was my personal. Um, development and my personal uh, you know stresses let's say but also then when I started to look at creators and certainly successful creators they didn't release every day yeah yeah, yeah. and it was actually more well let's make really really good yeah. videos yeah less of them yeah so, you know yeah. you know being you get more to, enjoyment out of that do you think by doing that I get way. really excited about every upload yeah yeah where before it felt more I was put I was pumping yeah pr- yeah and you almost never got to appreciate yeah. the content because yeah. it was like, right, that one's done next. Yeah. That one's done next. Yeah. That's, that's, that's so where true, now yeah. I'm like, I, I get videos right to the point and, I, and I'm like, sometimes, and I, I still get guilty of it, but very rarely now, I'll have a video in my head that I'm going to release Monday. Yeah. But I've had it finished. My editor's finished it for Friday. Yeah, and you want to put it down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had it this week. Yeah. And it's, because I'm so like, this is yeah, an amazing yeah. video. I want people to see it, don't you? I want people to see it this second. Yeah. I don't want to delay it. Yeah, yeah. So, but I'm getting better at being able to, you know, schedule things, yeah. be able to plan Step things, away. to be able to go, no, let let the last video breathe. Yeah, that's it as well, yeah. Let it develop. Let yeah. it get to a point where, you know, it's had a couple of weeks or a week on the channel. It's still getting really good views. Yeah, yeah. And then Maybe. go, well, there's the next one. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. every every successful. I think there's maybe that bit as well from the anticipation of the audience and more. You know, they're waiting for the next one. Aren't yeah. they? you've got them sort of waiting. I think it's a fine line. I think you can't leave them waiting too yeah, long. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I think if it got months down the line, yeah, like, yeah. well, actually, you started to lose a bit yeah, of relevance. Yeah. But you know, I, I like to upload t- twice a week. Yeah, balance. You know, good. if I if I can get if I can get two uploads, two really high quality, well produced videos a week, yeah, yeah, I'm over the moon. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Back onto the actual product itself, uh, quick answer really, but do you think tech has developed much in the seven years you've been doing it, you've been focused on product for a I while? I do, yeah. yeah. It gets a hard rap, tech, a lot of the yeah, time. Yeah. Uh, I think tech, you know, I don't think the manufacturers help themselves in yeah, it, yeah, the but they've got, yeah. they've got to. Yeah, they yeah, understand why job, yeah. they've got to market it, I yeah. do. I think the challenge that they've had over the last few years is that, you know, the audience are becoming more switched on to there is limits. Yeah. Where I don't think before YouTube reviews, yeah, yeah, no, they, they were aware. Know. That's true, yeah. So I think because of YouTube reviews and because there's more education out there, that the drivers have become to a limit, let's say. Yeah. The drivers now feel like they're at a point yeah, where they can't progress. But yeah. I'm still see, I'm still seeing progression. Yeah, yeah. Each year, I'm still. It's marginal, granted. Yeah, yeah. 
So you throw that back seven years. Yeah. Yeah. hundred yeah. percent. I've seen differences. Yeah, yeah. Like without question, even yeah. if it was at two yards a year, yeah. it's 14 yards. Yeah. You know, I look back at some of the old videos and granted I was testing it on a different launch monitor, but I'm hitting it further now, drivers further. Right. Now that's the only balance. Maybe I'm bigger, I'm stronger, I'm, I've played that's more golf. Worthy, I've yeah. So yeah. maybe I've developed as yeah. well, which yeah. is hard to yeah. an analyze. But I definitely know products as reviewed, and, I, and I've I've tested that. Yeah. So I've done driver tests where I've done the last um, fifth, five, five, ten years yeah, of yeah. Titus driver, ten yeah. Titus drivers, ten yeah. years of Callaway drivers, ten years of Ping drivers, ten years of Taylor May drivers, and the new one goes further than the last one. Yeah, yeah. The, the, yeah. You know, there's some anom- anomalies in there sometimes where you get a really fast driver, yeah. but over the time period, drivers have a hundred percent. Is yeah. it a product? And I've put sort of, so uh, drivers, irons, golf ball, is there anything else I've missed out there? Putters, maybe. Wedges, yeah. Wedges. Is there anything you've seen, one product range in particular that's progressed, do you think? Or is progressing? Um, the one that changed the bar, I always felt, was the SLDR tailor Yeah, range. yeah, yeah. Um, you know, the weight forward, yeah. high launch, low spin. Yeah. I think because manufacturers have been a bit more savvy with having technology, launch monitors, they'd realised hold on, if we get this launching high and low spinning, yeah, this could yeah. work yeah. for distance. Yeah. Tour pros had tremendous success with it because they could hit the middle of the club face. Yeah. Okay. Guys who could hit the middle of the club face had great success with yeah. it, but everyone okay. else really struggled. Yeah. And coincidentally, even though they developed from that launch monitor information, apparently SLDR almost happened as an accident. Wow. They put the weight forward just to see what it was like and realised, oh my what, God, this has really changed the spin. Right. Well, now, because when they first released that SLDR, if you remember, they never shouted about loft up. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't a thing. Yeah. They released the driver, realised that everybody's dipping at 500 RPM less spin, yeah. and then suddenly going, oh, crap, you've got loft, loft up, up, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, to make yeah. this work, you've got yeah, to loft yeah, it up. Yeah. So I think that one changed the bar a little bit. Um, and then any adjustable weights, obviously that's happened a long time. Um, I'm trying to think of the other clubs... I, I, the TP5 for me is a big one as well. The golf yeah, ball, ball TP5 yeah. has, is has been one of those balls that have come in and shocked the world a yeah. little bit. And everyone's like, hold to on, make a bit of a change. Everyone used to use Pro V. Yeah, yeah. Now everyone's using TP5. Or well, not everyone, but a lot of people now yeah. using TP5. And that was another big one as well. Putters, things like the Spider. Yeah. Spider bringing that uh, moment of inertia right back to their head has, has helped a lot of putters become more consistent. Yeah. So from a tour level and an amateur level. So then when you so then when you talk about development over seven years and just going through that product range there, for anybody who sort of doubts it, I mean just well, you've just mentioned four or five products there that suggest that clearly there has been the developments, haven't there? You know, it's it's hard to ignore. Uh, there's definitely been developments. Yeah. And I would say that's only really even tapping into equipment. You think of other things like, uh, you know, the fitness developments that have happened over the time, the coaching developments that's happened yeah. over the time, the um, the apparel, the footwear, yeah. the launch monitor the data that we get now, the the, the measuring devices, your GPS stuff, or, or your your lasers, yeah, yeah. things All like again, that. Again, yeah. You know, I think the only thing is that golfers have got to a point where maybe they're not utilising every single one of these yet. Mm. But that's okay. That's going to mm. come. Yeah, you know, yeah. that's going to come with time. Yeah. You've got the you've got all the tools there that have been developed over the last 10 years or so. It's now time for the golfers to start implementing these tools a little bit more efficiently into their game. Yeah. That's where golf coaches, etc., and information comes very valuable. Mm. So, yeah, it's definitely developed. It's moved. It's moved yeah. a lot. Uh, but it's, it's what the question is. So I'd say it's moved. The question is a lot is hard to... Specify, quantify, yeah, yeah. quantify yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So a lot to me yeah. might be seven yards, yeah. But to yeah. Joe Average, it might be thirty yards. Yeah, yeah. They want to see. Yeah, so that's yeah. that's the hard balance yeah. of what is actually the change. quantifiable change. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Now then, back to a little bit back to YouTube uh, as a as a thing, not yeah. your channel as such. But um, a lot of people, there's been an influx of creators in terms of golf YouTube over yeah. the last. Two years, would you say? Maybe would you agree? Two yeah. years. Yeah. Uh, it's changed in the last couple of years. I would say so. Yeah. It, it seemed for a long time there was kind of three or four channels, yeah. and now you know, and I, I'm sure we'll touch on it at some point. Even the YouTube Golf Day that I'm looking at planning. Yeah. 
the amount of creators that have applied, I'm like, yeah. whoa, Where did all where's everyone from? coming yeah, from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I didn't Everyone's know half Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. What, what, what would be your, what, what's your thoughts on if you're advising anybody out there at the moment who's thinking of setting up a golf YouTube channel? Is it still a good thing to get into, do you think? What, what do you think? Should we tell people not to? <laughs> we don't I want any more competitors. Stay away, yeah. Yeah, don't, yeah. You know what, don't bother. If you're looking at yeah, making yeah. a YouTube channel, do not bother. Yeah, stay away. <laughs> It's bloody hard. Yeah, oh, it is. Yeah, it definitely is hard. Like, and, I, and I, I, I don't like to admit that. I don't openly like to say it's hard because I don't want it to ever feel like it's hard. Yeah. I want to I want to produce a piece of content that, you know, a viewer will watch and go, wow, I really enjoyed that. And that seemed... That seemed seamless, yeah. Well, just seamless. Yeah. Like, you'd watch yeah, a movie yeah. and yeah. think, well, yeah, yeah, I don't care how that was made. Yeah. Some people might be interested. Yeah. So, setting up a YouTube channel right now, I think it's got advantages and disadvantages compared to when I started and even probably when you started because yeah. how long have you been doing it for now? Probably three years three okay. and a bit years yeah. yeah when I originally started there was probably two creators on the platform yeah. that were doing golf content me and my golf and Mark Crossfield yeah yeah and I probably came in as maybe a few more actually but not many certainly not that are any around now if I'm honest and um, so at the time you know, maybe the channels were getting 10,000 subscribers. So I thought, well, that's that's what I'm going to aim for, 10,000 subscribers. Right. I think channels coming in now see the likes of me, my golf, and myself, yeah, who yeah. are up to half a million subscribers. And that's, it's it's a benefit that there is half a million subscribe golfers Out who there. are subscribed to YouTube channels on golf, yeah. which weren't there when I first started. So there's a market that exists. There's a market. But on the flip side... There's no guarantee you're going to get that market. It's more saturated, yeah. It's more saturated. It's harder to be able to stand out from yeah, the crowd. Yeah, yeah. But if you come with an idea, if you come with motivation, if you come with a difference that separates you from yeah, everyone else, that people want to. The thing is, though, Andy, it's what people want to watch. Yeah. Like, oh. you could be different. I really appreciate Fried Eggs and Randy, yeah, yeah. and I know you do. Yeah. I love his content because it's very different. Yeah. But it's not everyone's liking it. No, no, no. And he's never going to get. You know, the mass views. No. He's not. No. Bless him. No. But he's not. But that that's where, so coming into YouTube now, you've got to be different, but you've got to, if you really want to be successful, I don't know how you'd quantify that in many different respects and terms, is you've got to be different, but a difference that people want to watch. Yeah. And I, I think that's really it's bloody tough. hard. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. all the time I'm trying to evolve into that role. Mm. I'm, I'm trying to evolve into a role where... I'm making content that more people would like to watch. Yeah. And I've had seven years' experience. Mm. Someone trying to start from scratch yeah. now. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, it's tough. I, think I, it's, wouldn't, I wouldn't like to start now. No, but I think way. it's like you say, original content is very tough to make, isn't it? And I think, it is. like you said, when there's so many people already having to go at it in one way, shape, or form. I think, I think original content and, and better content, though, can sometimes get mixed up. I think you don't always have to be first. Mm. to be the most successful yeah yeah um i think making the best content mm. separates you from mm. anyone else mm. it doesn't have to be the the most original idea yeah. everybody you know i'm sure every single you know apple weren't the first ever computer company mm. but they're yeah, the best yeah yeah, yeah yeah you know yeah even even apple weren't the best phone company yeah but now they're the no, best yeah, top of three, yeah. so i think i think Coming into it, you've got to just be better than everyone else. You don't always have to be the first or a really original. You can forge other ideas off other people, but just be bloody better than everyone else. I think that's the big trick. So there's still opportunities there to get involved. Then but I honestly wouldn't bother. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, stay away, stay away. <laughs> if you like your sleep, and yeah, yeah. You, you like... And a lifestyle of some uh, some hours of your own. Yeah, I mean, like I say, I can't rip it because it's forged me a wonderful career and I, I've loved every yeah. minute. Um but it, it, it's bloody it's hard it and unfortunately you put yourself out there and sometimes you might get some horrible yeah, comments sent to you which is funny as well but it's one of those things that if, you, if you're if passionate about it and you really want to do it uh, maybe set up a fortnight YouTube channel yeah, rather than got a better way to go yeah. <laughs> a I gaming channel you've got more chance yeah I think that's what I'd do next time <laughs> Right, so golf in general, first of all, a few quick fire questions. Okay. Uh, Links or Parkland or other, I suppose. Well, that's a great question. You know what? Growing up, I was always Parkland. Yeah. Uh, probably because that's where I played most of my golf. Yeah, yeah. You know, Manchester area, used to play a lot of Parkland. Hated Links. Right. 
hated it. Right. Never, I remember the first time I ever played Lynx Golf, I was like, this isn't golf. Yeah, yeah. This is, yeah. what the hell it's is this? It's it? It's almost like I'd been brought up in like America or something. Yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah. I'm not, I'm not a fan of Lynx Golf. It's unfair. This, it's that, it's this. Yeah, yeah. Now, I absolutely love it. Love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. For a number of reasons. One, the cha- I've become accepting of the challenge. Yeah, and that's that, what Yeah, it, is, it might be unfair, it might yeah, whatever. Yeah. I love the fact that, you know, when you whenever you play a Lynx Golf course, it's always in phenomenal condition. Yeah. I love that about yeah. it. Where you get running fairways and firm greens fast and fast greens, greens yeah. And, yeah. and fairly placed bunkers yeah. and always well scru- well um, uh, put together bunkers. Yeah. Visually for myself as well, I actually prefer playing a hole, which is has got... Um, a guidance of where the fairway is yeah, okay. but it's not tree line yeah. I found that tree line just feels like oh god I've got to like yeah. try and get it through that gap yeah, where yeah. links it's a bit wow. more open yeah. you've got a you've got a guidance of a runway That's but if you do spray it offline yeah. yeah you might be in the thick rough but it's not the end of the world yeah. and I like that about it I'm a I'm, I'm a, saying I'm, wow because that's a real thing for me, you know. I'm a much, I, I'm saying I'm a much better player. I'm only average as you well know. <laughs> so if the I, title of the, of the yeah, channel. If I play decent golf, I'm a, I always think I'm a far better player on Lynx golf yeah. than I am at a tight park. Of yeah. course, for, for the reasons you've just said. Yeah. I wonder how many other people are sort of fall that boat. I don't you know. know. I'll play one of my favourite courses in the UK is somewhere like Woburn. Yeah. Love it. I think it's spectacular. Buff. I could never shoot a few, score few around, there. around there. Yeah. I could yeah, never yeah, put a number yeah, around there because yeah. I stand on every tee and go, "Yeah, holy crap!" Yeah, and that's it. Yeah. How have I got to get it through there? Yeah, yeah. And I love the golf course. I would. I mean, I would yeah. probably just have to play it a lot more often. Yeah. Um, you know, but oh, for me, links it just gives you a, a guidance. That's where mm. roughly you need to hit it. Yeah. But if you're off that, it do, it feels like you can still yeah, free still up. Playing, still yeah. feels like you can smash a driver. Yeah. Yeah. And if you don't quite get it online, it's not the end of the world, and you can scurry and you can scrape and yeah, you can, still you can grind around yeah, yeah. the links golf. And course. I love that challenge of the weather as well. It generally you've got yeah. a bit of wind blowing, and uh, I, I'm a massive fan of links golf. But there yeah, you it's go. great. Um, do you still get a chance to enjoy a round of golf, or is it a bit of busman's holiday? No, I do or? now. Yeah. Uh, again, because I've changed the, the shaping of the channel, right. and, and I don't play as much golf on the channel now. I don't document playing, let's say, when I was doing yeah, the yeah, open and things like, things like that. Um, I will often play a little bit more golf with with friends, or yeah. or if I have a business meeting down south, I might right, have yeah. a business meeting and go and play nine holes, right. or you know, um, it, golf now doesn't always need to be attached to a camera, yeah, which yeah. I'm a big fan of. Yeah, golf. Did you mind doing the vlogs, the course? I loved them. Did yeah, you like them? And, and I still, I, I still, they they will be part of the channel still, you yeah. know, moving into this year and future. What I was just struggling with, it takes a long time yeah, to film. Yeah. You've got to plan a lot. So yeah. You've got to get someone else there or multiple people. You've got to get permission from the golf courses, which is, was pretty fine in the end, to be fair. you then got to play around the golf, which is long around yeah, the golf. Yeah, it's yeah. often five yeah. hours when you're vlogging yeah. it. Um, you've got to then put it all together, the content. Yeah. It's a lot of content it to is, put yeah. together. You then, fl- you then throw in shot traces, shot drone yeah. footage yeah, and everything yeah. else. And it's wonderful. When it comes together, it's wonderful. But then it also it's like you've then split it up into two or three parts, and it's like I'm not sure if this is the best use of time. Yeah. I'm actually better using this day yeah. to either plan better content yeah. or, or just create better content. Yeah, yeah. No, you I know, agree. Yeah. so I struggle with them personally. I struggle. I remember you saying you didn't like them years yeah, ago. Yeah, I've, I've started doing them more. I think one because it made me nervous in terms of playing golf. I yeah. was always like, Christ, there's a camera on, don't make a mess of it. So then, so that ruined. I just wanted to go out and enjoy yeah. a game of golf. I got better at that aspect, but it's still um, it, it's everything you've just said. I've, I've done some recently, and you look at the views you get and the time and effort you go into it, and you think, "Is this really what I should be doing?" You know, I did I did something the other week where we did nine holes in a match play, yeah. and then I used the back nine to, to do some club reviews. Yeah, the difference in time and effort compared to views ratio is incredible. So. And that's it's more the fact of you know you, you could definitely quantify it from a view standpoint, but it's also the fact that. You know, your time is spent. Your time is precious. Yeah. And when you're producing content for a channel, you've got to op- you've got to utilize every opportunity. Yeah. And you've got to utilize every minute of the day. Let's say. Yeah. You then throw in, like I say, from my standpoint, coaching on top of that, family life, yeah. other entities that I'm trying to do. 
He's got a to play day, outside, haven't he? Yeah. A day then of being out of the golf course filming is yeah, lovely. Yeah. But is it the best use yeah, of yeah. time potentially? Of time. Yeah, so so um I've got some course logs coming up soon actually. I've got a second hand club challenge with Pete, right. which I can't wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm excited. Yeah, yeah, cool. And I think the audience are gonna be excited yeah, because they've not seen it for no, six no. months. Yeah, so yeah. There's all this like, oh you Pete falling out and yeah, all this yeah, jazz. All it's not the case, it's just that, you know, Pete's playing a lot. Yeah. And I'm not not playing as much. So that's just gonna happen like that. So we've got a second hand club challenge which we're filming at the end of March, which is gonna be out middle of April I'm yeah. not sure when, when you're produ- releasing this um, and, and I'm excited because I've not had it for a while no, no, he's going to absolutely tonk me you realise well, that really right, oh, well, he's right. a full time player yeah, he's, he's, you know what I mean still, he does a bit to be fair he's a full time player I had a trip with him in back end of October and he's, he's a damn good player isn't he? <sighs> Certainly, when he plays every day. Yeah, yeah. He's doing, so yeah, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll have to do my best. I'll yeah. have to be some camera. I'll have to get <laughs> yeah. some. I'll have to get some shots off him. Yeah, yeah. Or, or I'll edit the videos. Yeah, yeah. And then I'll win. <laughs> yeah. What, what, what do you think of the? Um, what do you think of the general state of golf at the minute? I mean, it's a big question that one, but just overall, is it kind of? Um, it is a big question. Like? Um, you know, I think it's in a good spot. Yeah. I mean, I don't. I've not got anything to back that up. I've not got any evidence or yeah. stats to back yeah. that up. But personally, I feel like it's in a good spot. Yeah. I feel like certainly through social media, I think obviously getting Tiger back in the game is, yeah, is huge. I think yeah. we've got some good personalities in golf now. Guys like I think Justin Thomas is great for the game. I think someone like Brooks Kepka is really good for mm. the game, and if Dustin Johnson, a few others. I feel like that side of it, so the professional game, is somewhat doing its bit to help yeah. grow the game. I think golfers now, and, and again we've seen it online. You know, if I'm getting I get about. 4 million views a month and maybe about 6 million in the summer they're watching golf content yeah. that's only on my so channel so when yeah, you throw yeah, in right. yeah, yeah. 50 channels that yeah. are doing it now golf is being consumed way more than yeah. what it ever used to yeah. be 10 years yeah. ago you then throw in all the Instagram the Twitter the Facebook yeah, yeah. you are constantly you know almost to some degree bombarded with golf you I bet it's yeah. hard for a golfer to switch off from golf when yeah. they just want to get away from it for a bit but it's, I mean again the social social media aspect is a huge platform that wouldn't have existed to promote golf no. 10 years ago so again I was going to ask but I've sort of almost answered it myself is the positivity that social media and YouTube channels gives towards golf in general I think is I think so yeah I, I, I don't no negative really is not really no. you know there's no channels out there going golf is terrible don't yeah. play golf yeah you know yeah. a lot of channels are out there saying golf's great yeah look at all these fantastic places you can go look at all these fantastic yeah you know and even i've experienced i've did a video recently where i bought a set of clubs for 70 quid yes yeah, and i said you can you know what you can still play still, golf still involved, it's not a lot. Yeah, yeah. doesn't have to be a lot of money you can still get involved and i think again we it's always talked about attracting a younger audience and you've got to assume again i don't know any stats or numbers but you've got to assume that the, that these channels platforms have got to be yeah. Well, my, that my channel is predominantly made up of between 25 and 34 year olds right. so there you go um, so which is a, a key market for attracting golfers is what we want yeah so, yeah, so it's, it's you know I don't know the stats between I'd love to know a bit more about this but YouTube doesn't give me these stats well they won't be able to but how many golfers how many people are actually golfers compared to non-golfers mm. I feel like I do make a lot of content aimed at non-golfers mm. you know I played golf with the tallest man in Europe recently yeah, yeah. So you know 7 foot 7 inches there's no way, I think that's been viewed 600,000 times, there's right. no way... That's all golfers. All golfers. Yeah, yeah. It can't be. Yeah. So people coming into that video are like, oh, this is quite cool. Yeah, oh my yeah. God, how tall is he? Oh God, he plays golf. Yeah. God, I thought golf was just for yeah, X yeah. person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, actually it's not. Yeah. Oh, you can buy clubs that are custom fit. Yeah. Oh, you can get out and do... Oh, you can buy golf shoes in yeah. size 50. Yeah. I mean, I'm using that as a, as a yeah. crazy example. But I think making content now that is... That certainly is something I'm really trying to aim for. It's not just aimed at your hardcore member of a golf club. Yeah. I want to make content like the £70 golf clubs that I bought yeah. that people come into it and might just be flicking through YouTube and might have an interest in sport mm. and just suddenly go, I didn't oh, realize that's quite that. cool. Yeah, yeah. 70 quid for a set yeah, of clubs. Yeah, yeah. I'll do it. God, my mate plays golf and he's, yeah. he always says it's cost, going to cost me two and a half grand. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. It doesn't have to be. And that I can way. do that. Oh, and I can watch this. I can watch this catalogue of instruction videos complete yeah, yeah, the free of charge yeah, yeah. I mean that's got yeah. to be good for the but, game I don't, yeah. so I don't know the stats and, and 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 you know everyone I speak to in the industry seems to be sometimes a bit on a, a bit of a down low but it's like 
not everybody in the industry, industry but some people in the industry a bit of a download yeah yeah I, I personally don't feel like no. it is but I don't it, know any stats no uh, well it suggests otherwise doesn't it like you said if you took your channel alone and just analysed yeah. that in terms of that there's a lot of positivity that you would think got to think so there's a lot of people getting involved in it and, and that's something that I'm really passionate about you know I bloody love golf yeah you know yeah. I love golf yeah well, that's and that's cool. all we all do yeah, yeah you know yeah. and if I can stand there and get excited about hitting products or hitting yeah. a golf course that I love or, or being on the golf course I love or being with friends and playing yeah. golf or just having that passion for golf, even if that, uh, I don't want to get on this, you know, silly rant, but, if, but somebody watched that and go, God, he looks like he's enjoying yeah. golf. And I think that's important to relay that into, that's the enthusiasm you translate yeah, through the videos as well, time. it's important to do. I need to do that, Rick. I've always got this face that suggests miserable, do you know what I mean? I, I've, yeah, I've, I've got to work I sometimes on that. watch and go, I don't <laughs> want to play golf. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I joke. I've got no, to work don't. on that cheery aspect. You know what I love? And this is, this is some side of my golf, Golf YouTube, I was watching and going, oh, things aren't quite where it needs to be. I love the fact that dynamic is different. Yeah. So I can review a product as a professional golfer and, a, yes. and a whatever. You can review a product as an average golfer. Yeah. You've got Alex reviewing a product who smashes it as hard yeah, as he yeah. can. You've yeah. got other people reviewing products who might look at it in a different way. That's all good. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not a bad thing. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. not a negative. You know, people will fall into their category and mm. watch which whoever creator they want and, yeah. and see, well, actually, I relate more to Andy, so yeah. I'm going to watch more Andy. My swing speed's more like Andy, or I like Harry says it, or I like Harry has a, a more sceptical eye or whatever, mm. and then if I want to watch a puppy dog hitting a driver, which is more like me, I'll go and watch an excited puppy dog hitting a driver and whatever it may be. So yeah. I don't think it's a bad thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but uh, I'm sure I should share up a little. Uh, if a last question on this uh, general golf, if you wasn't a golf coach, or I know you're, well, you're a golf YouTuber now, but maybe oh, yeah. if the career hadn't took you towards being a golf coach, yeah, what would you have been doing? Do you think? Um, you know what? It's really funny. This weekend, I was at a kids' party and I bumped into a a dad, of, well, a schoolmate of mine who had a kid at the party too, and we were chatting away and asking, you know, oh, what does such a lad do now? He's what does such a lad do now? And there was such a mixed array of jobs yeah, that they're yeah. all doing. I have no clue. You wouldn't know. You wouldn't know what you'd have ended up. You know, I've always had a passion. And coming out of school, I had two main qualifications. I didn't do particularly great at school, but I had a good qualification in PE, right. physical education, yeah. and drama. Right. So acting. Right. I've somehow blended those yeah, together yeah, yeah, yeah. to create a, yeah, yeah. a job. Yeah, yeah. So God knows where what would have happened. Yeah, if not, yeah. I might have been on, on your pee in West drama. End. Is that what you call yeah, it? Yeah. I might yeah. have been doing a show on West yeah, End, yeah, maybe. or I might have been a, a PE instructor. Or, I, yeah, don't, yeah. I, I don't know. I, I always felt like they those two things. I was never a big fan of written content. Yeah. I was never a big fan of, you know. I always remember magazines over the last few years have asked me, "Can I do written content?" I'm like, "It's not no, for yeah. me." I'm not it's, a writer. Isn't that funny in a way, though, even, even from your school days? Crazy. And they were, they were your, your, Crazy. Your qualifications. Yeah. And even my mum, my mum, she's not, um, uh, she, she got me into golf, but she also used to run a football team. She used to, like, right. organise a Saturday football team. And, and again, I, maybe being involved in that organisation yeah, yeah. of a sports right. team and then the mix of drama. My sister's very theatrical. And right. my, you know, I've always had that... Um, like my mum and my sister have always been like dancing and shows and all this yeah, yeah. and maybe me right. blending into that and then the PE and then passion of all golf together, yeah. suddenly this is. destiny yeah, kind of got me yeah. here and again sat on my sofa with yeah god help you out I'm different, yeah. different to you yeah. well, well that's a, that's a career that's loving everybody <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it <laughs> oh, dear. only up from now on mate right so YouTube charity golf day yes um Still, a lot of it is sort of uh, top secret at the moment. Yeah, under wraps. Yeah. You, you know. I do know a bit. Because yeah. you are playing in it. Yeah, yes, definitely. I'm excited yeah. to get you yeah, involved. Yeah. Um, it's under wraps at the moment for a number of reasons, and I'm not sure when this video is going to go out. Yeah. But when we announce collectively yeah. YouTube Golf Day. Is it getting close? Very. To the announcement, yeah. Tremendous to close. Right. So um, there's a reason for not. So we've got a, a date lockdown, venue lockdown creators are all locked down yeah uh, we had 80 odd channels enter wow. which is bonkers um but not everyone can unfortunately play in the day so there's only a select amount that can, not select but it's all based on yeah, yeah. views and reach and all that but more reach um at the moment i've not announced everything anything publicly yet because there's a risk of the venue that we're going to use things getting it, it, I don't. I yeah. don't know what the audience is like yet. Yeah, yeah. Okay. basically. Yeah. So it's going to happen. It's going to be close. It's a charity golf day. It's going to be phenomenal. Um, 
I think the content that's going to be created on the day is going to be really be exciting. Yeah. My, my, this is the whole idea is to get people to collaborate together. Yeah. So it's never been done before where no, all no. golf channels have come together. Um, I've had the idea in the back of my mind for about two years. And it was January this year. It's was, come together quick, though, hasn't it, really, when you think, because it was... Too quick. Yeah. <laughs> but not In a good way. So it's come together really quickly. Yeah. And at the moment, let's say the audience, everyone, are itching to know more information, which I understand. Yeah. But, but I've, not gotta, really, yeah. I've yeah, just yeah. got to get it to a point where it's like, right, yeah. now it now can be ready. talked about. I'm because sure if anything that happens that. before that, if anything potentially jeopardises that, it could ruin the whole day. Yeah, yeah. And there's things, so there's, there's just risks like security risks and all yeah. sorts. So yeah. be patient. It be will patient. come. Well, it is, and believe it? me, if you follow any channel on YouTube that are playing in the golf day on cross social media, Instagram, YouTube, etc., you will not miss when or where the yeah, event's yeah. happening. Yeah. So just, yeah, yeah, you'll know you'll know about it. Stay tuned. You know so way more away. than everyone else. At yeah, the yeah, well, I'm very so excited I about it. already what it. I know so far. I appreciate far, you so, keeping yeah. it top secret. As I have done, all the creators are keeping yeah, yeah, it top secret know. at the moment. Yeah. I've got them all sworn on a, on a yeah. confidentiality list. Well, I had a, ne- <laughs> uh, the next question was exclusive reveals, but we can't reveal anything. You, you, you said um, it all there, really. Well, let me th- I'll give you one exclusive reveal. Um... Well, the only exclu- so currently, channels that are playing in the day have a total reach of over 17.5 million. Wow. Wow. That's incredible, isn't it? Yeah. So that's that's where... So that obviously, some of those are going to be mixed up, but yeah. some creators, not in not particularly in the world of golf, are playing in it as well. Right. And they've got a huge following. Wow. So that's kind of my, my exclusive reveal. Yeah, yeah. So like 17... That's big so that's why... I have to control it. Yeah, yeah. Because if I didn't control it and we announced a day, I don't know what could happen. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you're all getting very excited anyway. I, yeah. I mean, like I said, I know I know minimal amounts at this yeah. stage. But Spectators will be it's... will be available to come, but it's just got to be manned. Right. Because if we just say turn up, then how do I know 50,000 people yeah. are going to turn up? Yeah. They're, not, not, they're not going to do yeah. it, but hopefully... So stay tuned. I've just felt a pressure then when you've spe- spectators, you just said then, so that'll be like people standing at the sides. Yeah. We're needing oh to God. bring security in for the spectators. Yeah, yeah. Look at Andy now, he's oh, like, no. oh, actually, what was that oh. day again? What was that <laughs> yeah, day again? Yeah. I can't make oh. that day. Yeah, God, so it's going to be, and be there'll, be, there'll be a drone ban, and yeah, we'll yeah. have one oh, yeah. drone out there, yeah, and that's yeah. it, because yeah. otherwise it would be drone idea. wars. That would be a bit of a nightmare. Yeah. yeah. Right, I'm going to end with uh, just. Two more questions. Rick's been fantastic sitting through this. I've got, I've it's got been two, great. I've enjoyed two, it. Two questions to go. Uh, as a golfer, yes, you can win one major. Okay. What? Which one and why? It's got to be between the Masters and the Open, hasn't it? Um, oh. my, my head says the Open, but yeah. my heart says the Masters. Yeah. Like I, I, The Masters for me is, is like... Yeah. Just imagine that. Yeah. I mean, it's just like yeah, forever. Yeah. I mean, in the open, you're etched into you know history books forever. But I feel like the Masters. But I'll stick to my. Re- I'll go the Open. Yeah. That's- the Open Championship. I think just for the fact that it is the most prestigious major tournament. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the even though, yeah, the pop maybe the popular choice would be the Masters. Yeah, it's a tough one. I think maybe you know? I think I'd be in exactly the same boat, and I think because of the history and because of fact that it's on this soil maybe I'd choose the open can I throw again. a question back at you then yeah, so if you won the Masters there's one that I've always thought about just hypothetically if you won the Masters, the, Masters yeah. the next year you get to obviously supply the meal yes what would you what wow. would you be on what would be on the menu I'd probably be and you know, I think someone did it a couple of years ago I'm more of a burger and chips man I'd, I'd, be, okay. I'd do something very sort of uh, stripped back and nothing really? too okay. fancy yeah I think that's that'd interesting. be interesting yeah. what about yourself um, I think I'd go something kind of like quite English and traditional, yeah. like a proper roast dinner. Yeah, yeah. Because you could imagine like Tiger and yeah, yeah. guys like that just took it into like <laughs> yeah, a massive yeah. Yorkshire, Yorkshire pudding. pudding. In fact, yeah. I'd get one of those big yeah, Yorkshire fill puddings. And fill that up. Fill it. Yeah. We'd have a carvery where it's like unlimited and yeah. you've got to power your plate and the guy who yeah, powers yeah. the plate the most wins a prize yeah. and all that. Yeah. But yeah, that's why I'd go down. That'd be nice to have Apple option. pie for dessert. Uh, and then a weird starter, I'd probably throw in like a pate, which doesn't you, go with anything that... You've thought about this, though. You've obviously dreamt of winning the Masters. Dreamt it. Yeah. It's <laughs> what a thought that is. Yeah. What a thought. I, just being there last year was enough for me. Good, yeah. Right, last question. One round of golf left okay. in your days. Where are you going to play it? Okay, well, this is easy now because right. of the last question. 
Right. So let's say I win the open. Yeah. I can. Uh, I'll have the claret jug hung in my, you know, yeah. downstairs toilet or put in the hang- downstairs toilet. So then, the course I'd want to play for the rest of my life forever, it's Augusta. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair enough, finish. Yeah. I mean, this probably finish. Yeah. There's probably. There's always talks about Pine Valley, the one, the other one in the USA is supposed to be better. You know, right, the number, number one court. I think right. it's ridiculously exclusive. Right. Uh, but for me, you know, yeah. the memories that I could envision around yeah. Augusta, I, I would literally spend every day trying different shots, like yeah. Nicholson on thirteen yeah, and yeah. Tiger on sixteen and yeah. Bubba on ten. And, Bubba's shot, yeah. yeah. So like, that's what for me would, and that's what I think so magical about the Masters is that it has these phenomenal memories attached yeah. to a piece of land in in Augusta. It's it's yeah. mental. It's the I mean it's the. I don't know if it's the best tournament of the year. I think uh, for me it probably is visually to watch but I think it's maybe because it kicks everything off doesn't yeah, it it's that it first one and we it all does. get excited for it and, and watching it generally in great sunshine and all the drama yeah Sunday afternoon well, it feels like the golf season right now we start of March obviously it's the players this week we've just mm. had the Bay Hill yeah you know before that uh, where were they playing that wherever it's felt uh, the w- WGC like it's felt exciting so far yeah, already yeah, yeah. like I've always envisioned and I might be wrong in this like five years ago like the Masters for me was the, almost the first time yeah, we yeah. saw anything they kicked it off yeah. and now it feels yeah, like yeah. the season's yeah. 12, year, 12 months of the year which mm, is great Yeah, good for yeah. golf I've got to say that's my final question and uh, I've enjoyed every minute of it I've, I've enjoyed all these It was. it's been nice to have a face to face I bet because it's, <laughs> it's so much different like I said than the previous two um I hope you've enjoyed it. I did. Thanks so much for having me. Yeah. You know, I, I think this this idea of, you know, I, I briefly started a podcast in the last year and the thing that was missing was guests. Mm. So uh, hopefully you don't Get be offended if I in. potentially set one up like this. But yeah, no, I mean, I'll be, I'll, uh, can I use the studio? Is that all right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anytime you this want. This is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's but, really good. you know, I think the fact of, you know, you asked me, you know... I, I've seen the content you've been doing. It's been really good. It's definitely oh, been improving. That. Yeah, yeah, appreciate um, it. It's hard at first, like I say. It's you know, I know you've got other businesses and jobs, so it's yeah. it's a hard balance. But um, you know, you're doing a great job, and you know the fact that you've got this awesome setup going yeah. on, and you know you are approaching guys like Alex and Randy and me and whoever else you've got. Yeah, yes. Yeah. No, but fun. hopefully this this if uh, any creators are watching and Andy approaches you, this this was fun. Brilliant. Thanks so much. What a massive compliment that thank is. You yeah, much. appreciate Brilliant. it. Thank you. Yeah, great. And uh, like I always say, thank you all for watching. Um, I normally say at this point uh, to go and subscribe to Rick's channel. Make sure well, you do. Po- pointless me saying that. Uh, but thank you well, for watching. I didn't what- even notice <laughs> on your page. You're not even subscribed to my channel. What a terrible thing to have done that is. Cut uh, this. How did you spot Cut that? This. How did you spot that? Um, <laughs> yeah, comments down below. Um, Thumbs up if you like the video, all them things. But uh, have a great time. Could have carried if on you that are for coming, a while. If you are coming over from my channel, make sure you subscribe to Andy as well. Does yeah. some top quality stuff. Yes. Right. Awesome. See you, See you soon.